I wanted to build a boat different from everybody else. I wanted to build a boat that um, was cab forward, that is appeals to the elite, the Rolls Royce of aluminum jet boats. It's taken us a while to get there, but I think we're there now and it's paid off because we have a great client base, great customers that have a lot of great input. About three years ago, I was looking for a replacement boat for what I have now. I live in New Jersey and the water, is there, the water there is fairly shallow. So the boats I make in Jersey, the jet boats that I, that I do have, the biggest they make is about a 23 foot jet boat. So I was looking for something that would have maybe a little bit more power, bigger. Um, I have four sons, so I wanted to have it where it'd be, I could, you know, I could tow them on it, they go wakeboarding, water skiing. So I looked up uh, on the internet, you know, who made jet boats, and I came across, you know, eight, eight or so different companies, and saw they were uh, prevalent in the Northwest, and started researching, doing a little due diligence on all of them, and then the more I read about Precision Weld, uh, I was very impressed. I've had a passion for jet boats all the way back as long as I can remember. My first jet boat was 1977. I remember the days where I'd be hunting up on top of Hell's Canyon, I'd look down at the Snake River and I'd see a jet boat go by and I'd go, I wish that was me. So as the chief engineer of a major U.S. brewery for um, 19 years, I gained, a little, I gained a vast knowledge of engineering, welding, those type of techniques that would allow me to be where I'm at today to custom build aluminum jet boats. You know, I knew nothing at all about an aluminum jet boat whatsoever. So just the way he took his time and explained everything from you know, the beginning of the process to the end, I was very impressed. So I wanted a design that started off with um, real cab forward, offered something unique that was high end. I didn't want to build production style boats. I wanted custom aluminum top of the line boats. And over the years, I believe we've achieved that. And that's where we're at today. Well, I spoke to a couple people before I chose Precision Weld the first time um, and wasn't very impressed with, uh, with the conversation or how they got back to me. Their answers were very, very vague. So I knew once Tom built the first boat that there was no way that I was going to you know, waver and go away from Tom. Precision Weld Custom Boats, I tell my employees, custom stands short for customer. It's their boat. So when we build a custom boat, it truly is a custom boat. We offer things different like cab forward boats, open guide boats, center helm, drive from the center, drive from the port side, starboard side. All our boats have stick steering. We like to be the leader. We don't like to follow. So we have a lot of firsts in the industry. The newest thing we're doing, I mentioned, I hit on a little bit earlier, is true power steering in a boat, in a aluminum jet boat with stick steering. And that is the joystick. Everyone's seen joysticks before, they've all walked walk them on their Xbox games and stuff. Basically, you're gonna drive the boat the same way. Whether you're at idle or full throttle, that boat's gonna steer the same. That's something that has never been done before in the industry. I've been working on it for a couple of years and we're really excited because we have a system now that's been engineered and designed and we're ready to hit the water with it here real quick. We've had to uh, train people that come to the boat shows and they go, first thing they see when they see stick steers, they go, oh, it's a joystick and it's, no, it's stick steer, it's forward and back, you know, which is left and right. Um, so now we, tru we truly have a joystick, so now we can retrain the, the people that come in and, and say, oh, it's a joystick, no, it's stick steer. Now it's really a joystick where it will actually move all the way around. So um, it's very exciting to have that piece of innovation.
the engines and the, uh, the jets are so powerful, they're going to put hydraulics in where the lever from the steering is going to be just minimal use on the, on the, on the hand instead of pushing it up and back. We can go out in the ocean. We're 60, 70 miles from the Pacific Ocean. We can go out tuna, halibut fish, and go out 40, 50 miles. We can come back and be on the Columbia River and do some great sturgeon fishing. Or the next day, go up the Clackamas River and run through six inches of water. This boat rides like no other boat that I've had. I mean, it's the, the power, I mean, you could drive this boat in, where I am, it's so shallow, where there's maybe about a, a foot and a half draft. I mean, this boat can go on, on four inches of water at, you know, 30, 40 miles per hour. Uh, there are places in, in the rivers in New Jersey where you just can't get to with a prop boat. So this is becoming, uh, you know, I, I think it's gonna be the wave of where people are gonna be looking, because I always get stopped saying, you know, how is your boat going in these shallow waters? So when they find out that it's not a prop boat, it's a jet boat, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty impressed. From the outside, it might just look like another fishing boat to some, but you get up close and you get inside, and it's not only a boat that you can go, you know, six inches of water from one weekend to the ocean the next weekend, but you can actually um, be very comfortable staying on it for a week at a time. The customer asks us often what makes us different from everybody else, besides the structure in the boat, which is beyond reproach. It's top of the line. Donna mentioned earlier the fit and finish, the creature comforts, the attention to detail, state of the art. We always want to be on the leading edge. Boat number one just went through uh, the first summer. Loved it. Uh, some things after having the boat for the first time, this particular kind of boat the first time, I just wanted to kind of fine tune. And then they came out with some different engines, so Tom and I started talking, and we talked about making it a little bit bigger. So a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, different engines, changing the amenities a little bit. So as excited as I was about the first boat, I'm, I'm really all charged up at the second boat. I was trying to tell Tom, you know, what a great idea it would be if we could have almost like a pontoon boat concept with that type of luxury seating on the back of the deck and also on the inside. So he thought about it, he goes, you know, that sounds like a great idea. So that, that's what we're doing now. We've a boat has never been done that's going to have basically the, the comforts of a pontoon boat on the back deck and on the inside. So people that did have fiberglass boats and prop boats that were going out in the waters, I mean, they were, they were banging up their props, they had um, objects ripping through their fiberglass. I mean, this boat with the aluminum bottom is basically indestructible. When I'm getting gas, everybody comes over and says, what is that thing? You know, where are the engines? You know, how fast does it go? How many people does it hold? I mean, because it's really, it's a one of a kind on, on the East Coast. There's, there's nothing at all like that. Each year, we look forward to the U.S. Distributing Dealer Show. Um, we go specifically just to look for something new as a wow factor for our customers. Um, most of our customers do have the leading edge. They're up on technology. They know what they want. They want this, they want this. It's our job to make sure we can put it in and make it work. Even though we have customers that are picking the wow factor, it's really nice to come out and say, hey, we found this one thing that we thought, we thought of you, of, and they're like, wow, I didn't even think about it. So um, that's a lot of stuff we do too, is looking for something new. With or without the customer, we always want, each year, we want something completely different that no one else has done before. The thing that stands out when people think precision on custom boats, 
often lately what they think about is diesel jet boats. We are the industry leader in diesel jet boats. We do more diesel, boat, diesel jet boats than pretty much everybody combined. And we do that because we know the range of the diesel jet boats. This particular boat behind us is the first jet boat with the twin 6-7 Cummins diesels. We also do a lot of Yanmar diesels. You have to pay a lot of attention engineering wise. You just can't put the diesel in. There's a lot of things as far as the, that has to be thought about. Jeff won't go into a lot of detail, but diesel is usually way off and more than gas. So the center of gravity of the boat has to be right. You have to have a whole design. And that's where my engineering has came in for me over the years. My background in engineering has helped us. The design of this boat in particular is, it's made to carry a lot of weight in very shallow water. But also, I can't stand what's called a wet nose boat. The boat that runs on its nose and you're always having water up over the windshield. This design with the front end design of this boat is just the opposite. We don't have any what's considered bow shear. When the waves take and turn the boat like this, the wave will grab the front of the boat and yank it. We want to be on top of that. So this is a 30 foot boat behind us. Only the last one third or even one quarter will be in the water. The rest of the boat will be out of the water most of the time. That offers us a great ride also. So that's why you take the same boat that runs huge white water, and yet we can go out in the ocean. We have boats in the Atlantic and the Pacific, and we're out in the Columbia, which is a big river with a lot of chop. Boat run 30 miles an hour. Precision Weld Custom Boats Incorporated is an S corporation solely owned by Donna and myself. We are build recreational and U.S. Coast Guard commercial certified vessels. We have U.S. Coast Guard reps that come by. We build boats for commercial. We sell boats internationally. People usually get a hold of us through website. We have a word of mouth, a great reputation. And first thing I ask them is, what are you gonna do with the boat the most? Because we're gonna build the boat to fit their needs. Whatever you're looking for, would be one engine or if you wanted a, a center helm or a port side helm and they'll build it you know, specifically for your needs I and mean, that's that's kind of cool you can actually get a boat exactly how you want it we offer a lifetime warranty with our hull and it goes beyond that we just don't do put anything cheap in the boat right down to the paint the paint we shoot nothing but dupont emron it's top of the line paint the only stuff they shoot on aircraft basically it's expensive but five years down the road, the boat's gonna look just as wet as the day it was shot. It doesn't fade like the acrylic urethane paints do. Tom has always said if something had to be fixed, that if he had to come you know, back to the East Coast, he would. But he put me in touch with people that worked on you know, Yanmar engines, which is what my current boat has. So mechanically, it was never an issue. Um, if something went wrong with any of the, uh, the welding, which I doubt that would happen because he does such a great job, I mean, he also put me in touch with welders on the East Coast that could, that could fix or replace anything. Well, technology has now come around to where we have what's called NEMA 2K, CAN bus system. That everything, the engines are talking over that, all your computers in your cars, they all have that. That's telling you your fuel flow rates, all those things. We have that now capable in engines. And we've had to do some conversion boxes to make it work with our boats, work with boats, and Garmin or Lowrance or Raymarine. But that technology is there now, so we incorporate that in every boat. And it, besides being very functional and giving us our fuel ranges and everything else, it just looks cool.